everybody. My name is Johanna and welcome to Keeper Corner at Lincoln Children's Zoo. We are in the aviary today and I wanted to talk to you about a couple of our birds here and also about the different types of nests that birds build. You can see in my hands I've got some twigs and sticks here that are a pretty good length. This is great nesting material for our hammer cops. If you've ever been in our aviary before, you might have seen a pair of little brown long-legged birds kind of maybe sitting up high on a platform or running around on the ground. Those are our hammer cops. They are native to Africa. They live um, very, they're very widely spread throughout Africa, um, largely in the southern half of the continent. Um, but they build some really amazing nests and that is what I want to talk to you about today. So I'm going to toss some of these sticks on the ground and we're going to hope they come over and build some nests. So here comes our female. This is MC. She is one of our hammer cops. There comes the male. That's Armand. Now they're called hammer cops. Hammer cop loosely translates to hammer head. Here he takes it up to his nest. So they're called the hammer head or hammer cop storks because of the shape of their head. So if you take a look at the shape of their beak and that crest on the back, that thick, strong beak and that long crest of feathers on the back makes their head look like a hammer shape. So you're getting a really good view of their nest there. That nest is pretty huge, right? Hammer cops build the largest nest of any African bird, even the really big ones. They take twigs and they can spend weeks or even months building their nests twigs up to that nest and you can see the way they kind of weave them in with their beaks and you can already see on the back how much they build up and how well those sticks are really weaved in there and they're doing all of this without hands or thumbs all just with their beaks I don't think I could make a nest look that good and I have hands and opposable thumbs so birds are pretty amazing but these nests get absolutely huge when these nests are all said and done, it will be a large dome shape. So it will be entirely enclosed with only a small entrance on the front for them to fly in and out of. Inside that dome, there'll be lots of space for these birds to lay eggs. Hammer cops can lay up to seven eggs in one clutch. And those babies will stay in that domed nest until they're approximately fully grown, until they're full size. So it's gotta be pretty spacious. But these nests will include up to about 8,000 items, usually twigs. Sometimes they'll even use dirt, mud, tall grasses. You can see they've got some grasses in there. Um, I do give them mostly twigs, but especially as it nears its completion too, they'll start decorating their nests. So not only will they be using twigs and grasses, they'll find other fun things to put up there. Maybe here at the zoo, we might give them a couple colorful ribbons. Maybe a guest will accidentally drop a zoo map and the hammer cops will pick it up before they can get to it and take it and put it right on top of their nest. So when it's almost done, they kind of do a little bit of home decorating before it's all complete. So not only do these nests, are, not only are they built with a lot of items, really solid and really heavy too. These nests, when they're all done, can weigh around 50 pounds and be very, very solid. Ours are building their nest up on a platform that we've provided for them, but hammer cops can build their nests on the ground. They might build them in the crook of a massive tree. Anywhere they can fit that nest and get a good solid base in, they will build it. Now building a dome with a single entrance makes these birds cavity nesters, although they do build their own cavities, unlike a lot of other cavity nesting birds who maybe find a hole in a tree or maybe nest in a nest box that's provided for them in somebody's backyard. Other types of birds build lots of different types of nests. Some birds build cup nests, which is kind of the standard nest, whoop, we're fighting over sticks now, that you think of. Um, kind of just like a nice cup shaped um, nest made of maybe twigs or grasses or leaves or feathers or fur. Some birds will go take fur off of animals that are kind of shedding it and use it to line their nests. Other birds just nest on the ground. Some birds don't need anything more for their nest than a little scrape in the ground where they can lay their eggs. Some birds, so we've got cavity nesters, we have cup nesters, we have ground nesters. Some birds don't build nests at all. There are even a few types of birds out there who parasitize nests. And what that means is when they lay their eggs, they don't want to take care of the eggs themselves they want somebody else to do the work for them. So they'll find another bird's nest and lay their eggs in there. 
So birds build all sorts of nests and have all sorts of nesting strategies. My hammer cops with their long legs talk a lot about their nests. I'll tell you a little bit more about the birds themselves. Those long legs, and you can see they're slightly webbed toes. They've got just a little bit of webbing in there. That means these are water birds. So in Africa in the wild, these birds are often found around bodies of water. They don't need a lot of water. They can be found in semi-arid conditions too, but they're wading birds. So they primarily look for their food in water. So those webbed feet kind of help them move around in shallow-ish water. And they'll even use those feet to kind of tap underneath the water and maybe stir up the mud or silt or sand that's at the bottom to kind of stir up any food or bugs or fish that might be living down in there. Well, these birds are pretty darn cool and I hope you guys have learned a lot about nests and the different types of nests they build. These birds build absolutely amazing nests. They do build them pretty much every year here in our aviary. Hopefully later you guys will get to come back later this summer and see the finished product. I bet it won't take too much longer before these birds are done building their nest because they are really industrious. Today alone I've already brought them two giant handfuls of sticks that I could barely wrap my hands around, tossed them out, and within five minutes all of those sticks were up in the nest. So these are some very busy birds because it is springtime. It's breeding season so they gotta do what they gotta do. But I hope you guys have enjoyed being in the aviary with us today. Of course, don't forget to check below in the comments for today's activity, and we hope to see you next time on Keeper Corner.